Omaha's weather leader, meteorologist Matt Surwe, with your accurate weather now forecast. Quiet morning outside, clear and calm. Clear sky here from Highway 370 and 72nd in Papillion. And we don't have any frost to talk about early this morning. It's been kind of a frosty couple of days over uh, Thursday and Friday. 31 right now at the airport. Southeast winds at about 10 miles an hour. A lot of temperatures in the mid 30s around the metro. As warm as 38 in Millard, as cold as 28 in Bellevue. But you factor in the winds. They're generally out of the south or southwest right now. You get wind chills in the low to mid 20s in Nebraska. You get some teens. Feels like 17. In Atlantic, so it might be a little chilly this morning. The rest of the day, though, kind of awesome. Feels like the 20s this morning, 51 and sunny by noon, and uh, sun's down by five o'clock with temperatures back in the low 50s. But it's going to be a really nice afternoon with the highs today in the upper 50s and low 60s in Nebraska. The best chance for those low 60s, I think, are going to be southwest or west of the Omaha metro. Again, I can't rule out Millard. Maybe Bellevue sneaking up to 60 degrees. Western Iowa, probably mid 50s, which is still about 10 to 15 degrees above average for this time of year. Ridge in the jet stream, you can see all the clouds off to our north, all the sun later on this afternoon. We do have an area of low pressure that's going to wind up across the northern Rockies, drop a cold front over us late tonight into tomorrow morning. And those temperatures are on their way down through the second half of the weekend. Or, well, it's a long weekend, second half of the typical weekend. Warm front comes through today. That's what's going to bring in the warmer air this afternoon and the cold front already dropping over us by about two or three tomorrow morning. And you can see these lines, strong north winds as we go through most of Sunday, probably more sun than clouds, but I'll tell you the winds are going to make it feel rather chilly. And then high pressure starts to build in Sunday night into Monday. It's not going to calm the winds down right away, so we could still have some pretty low wind chills on Monday morning. And then we'll start to rebound a little bit more by the middle of next week. So wind gusts tomorrow. You can see most of the day north to northwest winds gusting between 30 and 40 miles an hour. That's going to make the feels like temperatures be in the mid 20s tomorrow morning, upper 20s tomorrow afternoon, and in the teens by tomorrow evening. But look at Monday morning. I told you it's still going to be a little breezy. Those feels like temperatures around 10 degrees. As we go throughout the remainder of next week, looks like the warmer air is going to be bottled up just to our north. More active pattern down to our south. Cooler and maybe a little wetter toward the Gulf Coast, but we're going to be very dry over the next several days. So that means no rain, but also no snow as we see the temperatures drop. 59 today, 40 for the actual air temperature tomorrow, but remember those winds are going to make it feel like the 20s through most of the day. After a cold start on Monday, we're back to 37 and sunny in the afternoon. Back to the low 40s Tuesday and Wednesday, and then maybe we'll see a couple of stray snow showers around here Thursday and Friday. But at this point, it does not look like we're going to have any accumulating snow around here going through the first week of December.